Hey everyone, it's Terry over at Decorate and More with Tip. Today up on the blog, I am sharing the tutorial on how you can make this easy welcome sign for your porch or for wherever you want to um, place it in your home. You don't even have to say welcome. You can put whatever wording you want on your sign. That's what's so neat about um, people giving you inspiration because you can do whatever you want with it, but use their idea on how they made it. So I hope you go check out my blog on how the, um, I made this uh, welcome sign. I um, did not have to go um, cut out the letters or um, stencil them on or use my Cricut to make the letters. It was so easy, y'all. I'm telling you. I went to Dollar General, found the letters. They have little wooden letters for a dollar. And I just painted them and glued them on the board. You could go to Lowe's and have them pre-cut, or not pre-cut, but cut your board to the size that you want. So you don't even have to get a tool out of your um, garage to make this sign. It's so easy and so, so cute. So go check out my tutorial. Now, you'll see that I'm missing my O here, and I'm not really, I didn't buy an O. What I am doing is I took some underlayment that I had left over from my um, paper organizer project and I just cut out um, some shapes and added a Dollar Tree wire and I am just going to add my little ornaments on my board as the season changes in place of the O. It is so cute. Now Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, they all have a little wooden cutouts that you can buy. You don't have to make. I just had a bunch of um, underlayment that I just cut out myself and painted. Now, I am going to share with you how easy it is to take a wooden um, cutout that you can get even at the Dollar Tree. They have those Crafter Square cutouts. My letters are four inches um, wide, so I want to keep my cutouts the same um, size as my letter so it doesn't look so odd so let's get started I'm going to put this down and then we'll get painted painting <laughs> so go check out my blog um, today is the first can you believe it's July already today is the first day of July which means I am hosting a DIY challenge so up on my blog, not only is my tutorial for my welcome sign, but at the very bottom, I have all of the participant bloggers doing their DIY summer projects um, for you. So just click on their picture and it will take you over to their projects. So go check that out. I am very interested on in seeing what my friends have in store for us. So let's get back to um, my little um, DIY today. I made a little flower template with my underlayment. I sanded it. Um, it's not perfect. I cut with the jigsaw. I don't have a table saw or anything. And then I drilled two little holes at the top of my flowers, and that's for the hanger. So I sanded it real, real well, and then I um, uh, wiped it down. And I am going to use some craft paint in black and bright yellow white and bright magenta and look at me blue and spring green we are going to use those type of paints to paint our flower we're going to need um, some paint brushes and a new pencil i always keep a pencil in my paint um, area because i like to use um, the eraser for dots so we need a eraser Scissors, um, the Dollar Tree ribbon, they come in different colors. I just have the green, so you'll need some of that for your hangers. And you're going to need some pretty wi uh, pretty um, ribbon and a piece of wire. And let's get started. Okay, so I am going to paint my entire flower the bright yellow and then we're going to add to the colors. Um, this is so easy. Now, I know the Dollar Tree has, um, I think it's 10. They have 10 um, little uh, wooden uh, flowers for a dollar, y'all, the Crafter Square um, brand. And you can, um, you can use that and make just a bigger bowl 
to make it four inches or whatever um, size letters if you want a bigger board. My porch is very, very small. It's more of a stoop. So the size of my board cannot be very large or it overwhelms my um, front porch. Um, I did go to, um, we, one Christmas, I went with some family to a painting um, night. It was so much fun. And I made a large welcome sign to put on my front porch. Well, when I got home, my eyes were bigger than my porch because the sign just overwhelmed it. And I didn't like how it, I put it on there, but I didn't like how it looked. So it's on my back patio now. And I just thought I would want another, I just like that welcome sign there. It was just too large. So um, this is a perfect time for um, me to share my little project with you because of the DIY challenge and because um, I like to share things with you. So I am going to probably have to give this a couple coats because it is not um, soaking in very well. So I'm going to give it another coat after it dries just a little bit and then um, we'll get going with the details. So I hope you all had a great June. Um, it just goes by so fast. I don't know where June went, um, but July has, um, hopefully July has some fun for you. Um, I know this weekend we're gonna go over to our daughters. Um, she lives um, by the, um, the rocket <laughs> in Huntsville. Um, so they're, they are still going to have their um, uh, fireworks. So we're going to sit on her patio and watch it because she has a beautiful um, view of the rocket. And they do fireworks behind it. So, oh, I'll have to take pictures and show you. But it, it sounds like it's going to be beautiful. So I'm kind of anxious to see because we've never been there. We always go um, in town where we live. They have a park and um, they have a beautiful fire um, fireworks display there. And we used to go there until they um, stopped having the pageant. <clears throat> we used to like to go to the Point Mallard pageant and watch the girls. Um, but they stopped that. I don't know if they um, plan on picking that back up. And then they have a band and they had a bunch of vendors there for um, foods. It was just a really nice evening, and after the pageant, they would um, do this huge fireworks display, and it always seems like it rains, no matter what day or what year, it always seems like it rained on July 4th, but it never stopped us. We all took our rain jackets and went. Very fun. So, um, now I have my yellow flower painted. I am um, going to um, kind of clean the brush up just a little bit. And I am going to take my little pencil and eraser and some white and add some dots to the petals. Um, and I'm sorry that it's so far away, but um, I am just going to take my pencil, dab it, dab it into the paint where I have a full circle of white paint. And then I'm just going to put it randomly on my petals. And um, so what, I hope you guys have a good plan um, lined up for July 4th. Um, I, I think it's going to rain again from what, um, in our area. I have, um, my cousin's wife does some painting. She's a talented, talented person. And I want her to do a watercolor of our house. And, um, she agreed. She said, yes, yeah, she'd do it, um, if I would take some, um, photos of the house in the evening time because, um, that's the best time to take, um, photos. Every evening since I've talked to her, it's rained. I'm not kidding you. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it next year. <laughs> but it just seems like um, I am never going to get this picture taken for her. 
because it's raining. I'm telling you, I um, I just I've seen several people have um, the watercolor done of their house, and I just love it. So I'm so happy that she's going to do it for me. Um, I just hope that I can get her the picture. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. So what I did is I just added a few dots to my petals. I did three petal. I did three dots to each petal, and I'm going to let that um, dry. I'm going to clean this up, and then I am going to take. I think I'm going to take the bottom of the bottom of my um, paint thing because it's a perfect circle and I'm going to lay it right right down in the center of my flower uh, I think that's the center yeah that's the center and take a very thin paintbrush I mean a very thin paintbrush <laughs> And I am going to use some of the Majestic Pink and outline the uh, bottle of paint onto my flower and see how that works. I would say a pencil, but I don't want the pencil mark um, showing and I'll wipe my bottle up after I get the paint all over it. I'm just outlining it. The fun part of um, painting your own little um, ornaments is because you can make them color-coded to your front porch, to your liking. Now, I know they make beautiful or uh, wooden, and you might be even at Hobby Lobby, you might even find um, some wooden small objects that you can put on your welcome sign. Um, and I might... Keep on looking and seeing if I can find some, but for now, I am just going to use what I have at home and um, make it work. So now I'm just kind of filling in the circle. I'll show you. So I just kind of made a little circle. It worked perfect um, for the circle. Now the circle itself is not perfectly even. But um, that's okay. So um, I made my circle. And now what I want to do, my fingers, is I want to paint inside the circle a different color. Um, let's go with, let's go with, let's go with the blue. So I am going to, um, you can see I'm a, Total mess. I am going to take my blue paint and color inside my um, pink circle that I just made. Um, I'm just gonna, I think that'll work pretty good. Um, so anyway, I um, am almost, almost done with my craft room. I just got done doing the workstation. Now I have to paint it. And I am making one more project for my sewing machine um, station, my sewing station. Um, I'm so excited that it's all just coming so good. And I, I know you probably all just are tired of hearing about my station, but y'all, I am so excited. I'm finally gonna have a room that I can um, do my love, passion, <laughs> um, crafting in and not have to um, go up in the attic and get supplies. Now I still have up in the attic um, all my home um, decor pieces, my candle um, sticks and picture frames and stuff like that, but I'm talking other things like my wreaths and um, uh, crafting supplies. I just am so tickled and my garage would have my spray paint. Um, so I just added the blue to the center of my pink. 
So now what I want to do is um, with the same blue, I want to take and kind of outline, make my petals more, um, more looking like petals than just a solid yellow. So I am going to take my paintbrush and add some paint to the tip of my brush and just kind of make lines where the petals meet. Um, I'm seriously, I am, I don't know what I'm doing, but I am trying, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get the, um, petals, um, looking more like a solid petal than just a form. And I think I, I just added a few lines, um, in between each, each petal. And I might do the other side too. Make a V instead of just a line. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I just kind of made a line like V's on my petal. And now what I wanna do in my brush is that's on my ribbon. Um, is kind of make an outline in maybe black. Yeah, I'm gonna outline. You know what? I'm gonna outline my flower with all of the colors besides the yellow. And I'm just putting dots in. Um, let's see. We'll have some white. We'll have the pink. Put too much yellow in there. And we got the blue, and I'm gonna add a little black to it. Ooh. Okay. So, in my little paint container, which I got at the Dollar Tree, it's so cute, I've added all my colors of my paints. And I'm taking another thin brush, <laughs> wet mitt, because I want the tip to be real. And then I am just going to add a bunch of different colors to um, the flower. So I'm going to start with the blue, and I'm just going to add a fine line just around the pe uh, petals. Um... Let's see, I think I'm just gonna stop at the circle part and not where the B is. So that's the blue, if you can see, it's very hard to see. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna kinda just um, take my paper towel and clean my brush. Now I'm gonna use the pink and doing the same thing um, right next to the, um, the blue and it doesn't matter if it goes over or way away from it because we're going to add all the colors to it. Let's see. I think this would be fun um, to do with the kiddos too. All right, so I added some pink and blue to the edges. And now I'm going to do the same thing and do the with the green. So my um, daughter just texted me this morning with a picture. Little bit, Kehlani flipped over in the middle of the night. She is turning, y'all. I'm telling you this, she will be, see, she was born in April, May, June, July, August. She's three months, let's see. She was born April 1st, June, she's three months. Gosh, time is flying, y'all. But she is flipping over 
and scares her because she wakes up. <laughs> and then, um, but how fun. So I put it the green on there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the white and the black. I'm going to start with the black. And I'm going to do the black in the very tip. Just the very tip of the um, flower. Just to give it a little bit of highlight. And this is just fun. It's not going to be beautiful, but it'll just be fun. So I just added black to um, the flower. Now I'm going to do some white. Um, same way. Um, I might not add white to the tip. I think I might um, add dots just by the v, top of the V. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just adding little bitty dots to the, um, the V part of the petal. And I'll try to show it to you up close. So I just added little dots uh, can you see it? Just little dots right by the blue V. All right, and now what I want to do is I want to highlight my little circle, my little um, dots that I made with my pencil. And I am going to use, um, I think I'm going to use some hot pink. And I am just going to take little and make little dashes in the... Um, the circle. Just adding some paint to the brushes and doing a little touch here and there in the circle. And I think I have to let this dry and then put um, my sealer on it. But I just added a few little, um, little highlights in the circle. So I think, I think that is all I'm going to do. Mm, don't know, don't know. There's something it needs. I'm not for sure what it is. I think I'm going to put some green around the little flowers every so often. Just little Just added a little of the green to the flowers. It's so hard to see with this yellow. But anyway, um, that is my little flower. Um, what I'm going to do now is take the Dollar Tree ribbon or wire. This wire is not like floral wire. It's a little bit thicker, but it's very easy to bend. And I am going to add a little hanger. And I just want a little piece of um, wire, not much at all, and I'm going to form it because this is already four inches, so I don't need a um, big amount of wire, just something to hold um, my flower in place on the board. So I'm threading it through the drill holes. If you can see, my wire is through the metal um, the uh, wires through the hole. Then I'm taking my wire snips and just curling the ends of the wire just to stop it from um, going through the hole again. And I'm just making a little curly cue. 
with the wire. So that's going to leave me a little hook in the back because my flower is four inches. Um, so I don't want the wire to make it look um, too big. So I just put it in the back of my flower where it will just hook on. Um, my other pumpkins and stuff, it the, they're not circles, so um, they're a little oval. So I had to make them to where the top of the wire to the bottom of the pumpkin is four inches. Also with the watermelon, top of the wire to the top, the bottom of the watermelon is four inches. So um, that's what I did with my flower. So now what I want to do is I want to add a little ribbon. And I am going to, um, I cut my ribbon about five inches long. And I'm using a black and white um, striped ribbon because black just seems like it pops and a blue gingham pattern, a, a hot pink see-through silk ribbon, a multicolor um, ribbon for my accent piece, and then a polka dotted um, green. And I'm just gonna add these all two um, together, laying them however I want them to lay. And then I am going to take my, bunch them all up in the middle. And I am going to take my little wire, my floral wire, and um, put it in the center of my ribbon and pinch it all together and twist them to where they're securely on um, a bundle. And then I'm just going to cut my ribbon. And I like my fishtails. So I am going to fold my ribbon and grab my scissors and do a little fishtailing on them. So they're all fishtailed. I'm putting them all together and doing them. Bending them in half and then cutting the fishtail on them. And then I'm just Spreading them all out in different directions. And they don't have to be wired since they're going to be a, uh, a short little piece. And that is my messy bow. And I am going to add it to the ribbon, of the ribbon, I'm sorry, the wire, the Dollar Tree wire and just twisting it on to one side so the ribbon can show up on my flower. Trying not to get my fingers in my paint. And that's my cute little flower. Just throw it, throw it, um, spread the, fix the ribbon. And is that not the cutest little thing? I will add it on to my sign so you can see it. Here's my welcome sign. And I'll hang it on to the clip. And there we have it. A cute little flower to put on your um, welcome sign. So uh, go check out my tutorial on how you can make the sign and how I made my little watermelon. And I hope you have a great day and God bless.